really haunted places, does not support or endorse trespassing to visit haunted places. Before you decide to visit, please make sure to acquire the appropriate permits and or permissions, and be respectful of properties that are privately owned. Welcome back to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's top 7 ghost stories will take you to haunted places in Colorado. Founded in 1880 after discovering silver and gold, St. Elmo in Chafee County is Colorado's most intact ghost town. As you wander around the remaining buildings, you may come face to face with St. Elmo's most famous longtime ethereal resident, Annabelle Stark. The Starks were part of the town's elite. They managed the general store and adjoining home comfort hotel. After the death of Annabelle, the grandchildren of a family friend were playing in a room of the hotel when suddenly the temperature plummeted 20 degrees, and all the doors slammed shut. The children were traumatized, refusing to set foot in the hotel again. Later one of the older grandchildren in her twenties tried to fix up the building, leaving one night with all the cleaning equipment put neatly away. She returned the following day to find it scattered all over the floor. This continued for several nights until they started locking them away, only to find them on the floor again the following morning. Located on Pennsylvania Street in Denver, the Molly Brown House was the home Margaret Brown, an American philanthropist, socialite, and activist. She also survived the sinking of the Titanic. The home was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in 1972 and was also added to the Colorado State Register of Historic Properties. Dating back to the 1880s, the home was built by architect William A. Lang and is said to be quite haunted. Many believe that one of the ghosts that lingers here is Molly Brown herself, and that her spirit has been seen wandering throughout the house, accompanied by cold spots. In some rooms of the house, pipe and cigar smoke can be smelled, and is attributed to her husband's ghost. There is also the ghost of a lady in Victorian clothing who likes to move the furniture around in the dining room. Johanna is the spirit that has been spotted in a bedroom upstairs, and the ghost of a mad butler has been seen standing behind people as they go to look in a mirror on the first floor. Cheeseman Park was established in 1898 and sits on 81 acres of land. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in September of 1986 and is also listed on the Colorado State Register of Historic Properties. The land that is now the park was once the Prospect Hill Cemetery in the late 19th century, which also included the land that is now the Denver Botanical Garden and Congress Park further east. Stories say there is a ghost of a man wearing a hospital gown that lingers the grounds of the park at night in search of his killers. He is said to have deep stab wounds in his chest, back and arms. Another strange report is from people who have claimed to experience an odd sensation if they lie down on the grass. They say that after lying down for a short time they feel as though they are unable to stand up. It is almost as though some unseen force is holding them down. Built in 1881, this stately mansion is now rented out for corporate events and weddings. However, during the early to late 20th century, several families lived here at different times. Some of these deceased family members have stayed behind as there are countless reports of paranormal goings-on throughout the mansion. One common sighting is of Julia, the 11-year-old daughter of Frank Kistler. 
She died in 1937 in the upstairs bedroom, a room where her apparition is regularly seen. Julia has also been witnessed walking down the hallways and peering out of the windows. Among the many other spirits that haunt the Highlands mansion is a woman who can be heard sobbing and a dark figure that moves around an otherwise vacant house. Located off U.S. Highway 50 in Cannon City, the Museum of Colorado Prisons is housed inside a former state women's prison. The prison building dated back to 1935 and the museum was founded in 1988 by a group of Fremont County residents. The property is believed to be haunted by some lingering spirits who manifest as cold sots and a phantom tobacco smell that has been reported in the laundry room. And in cell 19, a female prisoner who died there is said to have never left. Photos have shown ghostly orbs in the cell, and the sound of coughing has been heard coming from the empty cell. This army hospital is no longer in operation but was once a U.S. Army facility, located on 577 acres of land. The hospital opened in 1918 and was the largest structure in the state at the time. It closed its doors in 1999 and has since stood abandoned. It was founded during World War I by the U.S. Army after they needed to treat the large number of casualties from chemical weapons in Europe. The hauntings that have been reported here are believed to be attributed to its tragic past, and those lingering in spirit are most likely soldiers who passed away here. Dating back to 1909, the Stanley Hotel gained fame after being featured in the classic horror film by Stephen King, The Shining. Located just four miles from Rocky Mountain National Park, this hotel features 420 rooms and offers panoramic views of Lake Estes, the Rockies, and Long's Peak. The hotel was built by Freelan Oscar Stanley and Flora Stanley of Stanley Steamer fame and opened on July 4, 1909, catering to the American upper class at the turn of the century. Guests and staff alike have experienced the many examples of paranormal activity within the hotel. There are many spirits here, but the two most active seem to be the former Freeland Stanley and his wife Flora. It is said that even in death, Flora enjoys sitting in the ballroom playing her piano. Incidentally, this was a gift from her husband in celebration of the hotel's grand opening, and it still has pride of place in the ballroom. Some have witnessed their keys moving independently, while others have seen Flora sitting at the piano. I want to thank you for listening to our top seven ghost stories. And until then, good night.